What's up people, I'm Cody Love, and today we are going over 10 Premiere Pro hotkeys to help you edit faster. Now, if you have ever edited before, you know that it can be very time consuming. You can run into creative blocks, start procrastinating, thinking the world is going to end, that you need to change your career, and that everything is falling apart. Okay, maybe not all of that, but I think we all can run into some holdups when we're video editing. And anything that can help you edit faster and finish your projects will help you grow creatively, save you some time, make you more money, and just improve your whole filmmaking game. These hotkeys may only save you a few seconds, but doing them over and over over the course of a video edit adds up and saves you a lot of time. Okay, now we are in Premiere. A few things before we start. One is I'm doing this on a Mac, and so if you have a PC, Basically, you substitute Command for Control, and you'll substitute Option for Alt, or the other way around. Alt on a PC, Option on a Mac. Command on a Mac, Control on a PC. Got it? And the other thing is, I already went over Command K, which is the Add Edit button in, but it? the add edit button in this video here. So check that out if you wanna learn that hotkey as well. Okay, so the first hotkey we're going over today is ripple delete. So we have all the drone footage and shots I got up in C Ranch in my timeline here, which uh, is my last video I posted and that'll also be around here somewhere. So option delete. So we have these three clips, this one and this one. Let's say we wanna delete this most beautiful one for some reason in the middle. We delete this, select the area, delete that space, and then everything will move over so that these clips line up. But the faster way to do that, Command Z, Command Z, to undo, that's another hotkey. Just select the clip, hit Option, Delete, and boom, everything automatically slides over. If you wanna see that zoomed out, Option, Delete. Boom, that is the Ripple Delete. Number two is the ripple trim. So say we wanna delete this middle beautiful clip again, but we don't wanna delete all of it, we just wanna shorten it a little and everything slide over. You hit B on your keyboard to select the ripple tool here, and then you click and drag to where you want it, let's say right there, and boom, everything slides over. Now let's say we are done with the ripple tool and we don't want the ripple edit tool selected. The next hotkey, number three, is V. V will select your selection tool automatically. So we're B, we're using the ripple tool, and then V, we're back to the selection tool. Number four, five, and six all go together, but they really help you maneuver your timeline. So let's say we're watching our clip here, and we just wanna speed through all our clips and take a look. If we hit L, it turns into a fast forward. If we hit L again, it double fast forwards, and we can speed through our whole timeline. Number five is to pause the fast forward, and that is K. Hit K, it'll pause it where you want it, and then you can hit the space bar again to play. Now, if you wanna rewind, you hit J. So we're going, oh wait, I wanna go back to that clip. J, J again, go faster. And right here I wanna stop, K. J, K, L, they're all right next to each other on the keyboard, and they help you maneuver through your timeline way faster. Number seven, and this is a good one I use a lot, is if you want to duplicate a clip. So let's say for whatever reason, I wanna make two of these clips and I want exactly the same speed duration and the color correction and everything I've done to this clip, I just want two of them. So if I have this clip selected, I hit option, click and drag, release the click and then release option. And now I have two of the same clips in my timeline. Number eight, and another way to help you navigate your timeline is if you wanna jump your timeline cursor to the next clip or back a clip, you use the up and down arrows on the keyboard. So if I wanna move down the timeline, I hit the down key on the keyboard and see it jumps to the next clip like that. And then if I wanna move backwards on the timeline, I hit the up arrow, boom, 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 just like that. One thing to note when you're using this is what's selected in blue here is where the arrow will jump. So if I just want it to jump on the bottom layer, if I only have that selected, it will skip all of these clips and jump only to the bottom layer. So if you want to have them all selected, go like this, and now it will hit every clip when you go up and down. That's all. 
Number nine, so if you want to move clips on your timeline up and down the tracks here, instead of clicking and dragging and hoping it's in the right place, you just select the clip, hit option, and use the down and up arrows and it will move your track down and up, like so. A lot of these are to help you maneuver in the timeline because moving in and out and moving across your timeline can save you a ton of time. Okay, the last hotkey, number 10, is Command T. What this does is create a new text layer in your timeline. So if I want to add some text right here, maybe I wanna say in 90 seconds or less, then all I do is hit Command T, type what I wanna type, and I can change the size. I can go to effect controls. I can move it around or less. Boom, there it is, 10 Premiere Pro hotkeys. Now we are all faster editors, better filmmakers, and hopefully nicer people. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave a comment down below saying that you are the avatar, because you are probably one in a million if you made it to the end of my video. Also, I know there are some new people here since last time, so thanks so much for subscribing, and let me know what you guys wanna see in future videos, whether that's more tutorials, vlogging on set or behind the scenes of what it's like running my own production company. Let me know and I'll see you next week.